Hello, this is Nick Miller of Harris Miller Miller & Hansen. We've put together this five-minute audio demonstration to help us think differently about urban soundscapes, what they sound like and how they might be designed, just as we design urban landscapes. We've built this demonstration by layering together binaural recordings made in different locations over a period of several months. By doing this, we've created virtual soundscapes, similar to those that could be used to help design a public space and to ensure that the soundscape will be appropriate for the facility's planned uses. The soundscape that we hear now is a large urban park. Although we're in the midst of a large city, we're far from any busy streets. Soundscape design can help us to understand how a new activity would fit into this setting. For instance, how would a new playground change the soundscape? In addition to demonstrating the effects of new sounds caused by activities within the park, Soundscape design can help us to understand the effects of outside sources. For example, let's suppose this park were about two miles from an airport used by jet aircraft. Another objective of soundscape design is to help choose appropriate activities for existing or planned soundscapes. What if we move this same playground to a smaller urban park in closer proximity to busy streets? In this new soundscape, I have to raise my voice to be heard. While this soundscape might be appropriate for a playground, how would it be for a different use, such as relaxation or passive recreation? Let's take away the playground and listen. If this soundscape isn't quite what we had in mind, Soundscape design can help us to evaluate ways to enhance compatibility between soundscape and planned uses. Noise barriers, landscape berms, and clever use of shielding from buildings can help to reduce sound from traffic in urban parks like this one. I could tell you that a landscape berm may reduce sound from traffic by 5 to 10 decibels, but it's easier to judge the benefit if you can hear it for yourself. Although it's still obvious we're in an urban setting, with the traffic reduced by a landscape berm, it's easier to communicate. Another approach for enhancing a soundscape is use of a masking source, such as a fountain. With soundscape design, we can hear how the fountain will affect the park soundscape, and even evaluate design alternatives, such as changing the fountain's size or location. This demonstration has highlighted some of the uses and capabilities of soundscape design. Harris Miller Miller & Hansen can use recordings, measurements, and specially designed computer models to help design soundscapes for urban, suburban, rural, and wilderness projects. We work with planners, architects, landscape architects, government officials, and the public to design how an outdoor space should sound. You can reach us anytime through our website, hmh.com. Thank you for listening.